Por eso iba a ver. ¡Ah! 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 What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brandon Bruce and welcome back to my channel Escaping Comfort Zone. So if you're new here, Tal and I have been adventuring around the island of Mindanao in the Philippines. Best channel on YouTube right here baby. <laughs> in this bad boy, so we call this Rusco the Rust Bucket. This is a multi-cab, uh, one of Tal's friends just gave to him and we have been driving this around the past few days. Look at this beautiful thing. So the past few days it has been quite a wild adventure. We have just driven through some beautiful mountains. Uh, we have seen some amazing places. We've visited a few more waterfalls and we had a little bit of troubles along the way. We ended up getting a flat tire. So, but lucky enough for us, we ended up breaking down with that flat tire in front of a tire shop. We thought we didn't have a spare tire, but we did. But this morning, right now, we actually just found out that spare tire that we ended up replacing is also flat again. So looks like Tal's gonna have to deal with that down the track. <laughs> but today we are finally in the town of Davao. So we have finally made it to Davao. And today we're gonna explore an island called Samal and just probably rent a scooter while we're on the island and venture out. So let's begin the day. So ferry across to the island is very cheap. It's only 10 pesos per person if you're just walking on. And they exchange it for like little tiny um, little tokens. So we gotta just pop it in the machine here. There you go. And we are good to go. Oh. Welcome to Samal Island. So the second you get off the ferry, you have tricycles everywhere if you need to get around. Um, I always tell everyone, like, always negotiate the tricycle prices because majority of the times you can always get it down, they're always trying to quote a higher price. But Tal and I, we really want to rent a scooter, so we're just currently looking for a scooter to rent. But we always try to go to negotiate that down as well. Like straight off the back, there's people trying to charge us 800 pesos a day per head for a scooter, which is in an insane amount. I've never even been on an island where they have charged that much. So we're just gonna keep walking up to hopefully see if we can find something cheaper. All right, so after a bit of haggling and walking up and down that same street, we ended up getting ourselves two bikes for the price of 800. So Yay. 400 pesos each, which is literally half the price of what they were first trying to quote us. So goes to show how cheap you can actually get it. But oh my God, it feels so good to be back on a scooter again. And this island, it's, it's fairly decent in size, but I think we can drive all the way down south in about an hour time. So we're gonna explore as much of the island as we can and just sort of do a big loop. So let's begin the back trip adventure. Woo! So after a bit of research on the island, I found that this waterfall here, Hagamut Falls, is probably the most popular falls here. And it is 50 pesos for entrance. So, best way to start the day and cool off the last refreshing water. All 
Alright, so I think after minutes of walking, let's just keep following them down the stream. I think we may have come to an end of like all the main touristy waterfall bits, but it does keep going. Like as you can see, the waterfall keeps going down, but this is sort of the area where it stops where there is no one else. But I feel like you can still swim around there anyway. This place is amazing. What do you think, Tal? It's pretty, pretty gorgeous. Yeah. I, I like the idea of being able to potentially go in there because there's yeah. no tourists down there. Yeah, like if there's a possibility we can go down there, have it all to ourselves, that would be pretty cool. And the water looks beautiful down there too. All right, so another typical Brandon and Tal adventure. We dare to go where a lot of people don't usually go. So we always love to get sort of outside of the touristy bits. And this is definitely not touristy at all down here because we're the only ones. And of course, the waterfalls are still as beautiful as all the other waterfalls. So the difference here is we have it to ourselves. All right, here we go. First dip in under the waterfall. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, you're up there, mate. Oh, an epic waterfall or waterfalls because that was just several waterfalls uh, so we've got a full day ahead of us and now it's just time to head far south of the island and see what we can find there so let's hit the road all right so next on the list is Capituan Beach Park so let's go hit up the beach baby Alright, so I see why they didn't rent out any snorkel gear around this beach just because there's really no reef to snorkel around. Like it's all just sandbank that drops off. There's a lot of like sea urchins and starfish to see, but yeah, I think there's a lot of other better places to snorkel if you want to snorkel. But in the meantime, we're just gonna chill back. Have some fried chicken for lunch because that's literally like the, um, the main meal to find around the Philippines is fried chicken. Um after this. Gonna see if we can find ourselves a bat cave. So, yeah, we'll do that. All right, so we have just arrived upon the Monfoot Bat Cave. We had to pay five peso entry fee, which is very cheap. And I didn't realize this, but the Monfoot Bat Cave has a Guinness World Record. Um, it says, but in 2006, the population of Monfoot Cave was approximately 1.8 million. Damn, that sounds like a lot of bats, and I'm really to check it out so let's go just approaching the cave now and you can already hear the bats you can probably hear it in the distance right now whoa look at them all that is a crazy amount of bats oh, smells like guano 
smells of just bat crap. This is, oh my god, it's such a strong, potent smell. I can't even actually, oh man, I can't deal with that. Look at them all. They're just right at the top of it now. Totally dooly. Look at all those bats. This whole wall is just bats. That's insane. Right, hey, that's enough smelly back crap for today. Now it's time for the next destination. Where is it? I don't know. We're just gonna keep going up, find some more the beautiful beach. beaches. To the beach, to the beach, and get a beautiful sunset while we have it. End the day, and these guys are gonna end it with a bang. Hello! Hello. Woo! Made <laughs> <Ninja Jump. laughs> She is so cool. Okay. Hello! These guys are crazy. Salamat! Salamat! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're fun, crazy little kids. What a day it has been, though. Oh man, what a what a perfect way to end the day too, with that beautiful sunset. I have just enjoyed every moment of this island. So if you guys are in Davao, definitely come over to Samal Island because it's such an easy day trip. Like it's literally like a five minute ferry ride, 10 pesos ahead to get over here on the ferry. But we're gonna have to make our way back very shortly because it is getting pretty dark and we're stuck. How do we get down? Yeah, I don't oh. know where you walk this direction. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna have to go back down the ladder. But yeah, it's been an amazing day guys and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone and I'll see you on another adventure around the Philippines. Bye! Also, quick side note guys, if you are thinking about bringing a car or a bike onto this island and then want to get off the island on the car or a bike, just try to get here a little bit earlier because we were driving along this road and for hundreds of meters the cars and bikes are just completely backed up. Like look at this, this is all cars and bikes waiting to get onto the ferry. So you have been warned if you are thinking about bringing car and bike onto the ferry, just get here early. Alright, that's it for me. See you in the next one.